what I just wired up. figuring out the uh, system here on our chiller number one because it wasn't reading back amps on the screen. Never has ever since they installed this unit uh, about four years ago. The carrier people. But anyway, uh, it would be nice if this uh, EMS schematic was correct. Uh, universal input number three to the EMS microcontroller. You know, here it said chiller one status and that's what the wire was hooked to it. But Really, that's supposed to be amps, which I confirmed when I was into the actual software for the EMS, the DOS-based software, <laughs> micro, uh, whatever it's called, MicroZone 2 system, MicroZone 2, and that's the data sheet. So I got those all put back right at the wires. They had the... Uh, a little converter here, zero to five volt output to read to the EMS computer. They had that hooked up to a amp meter on one of the wires on the motor side of the VFD. I don't think that would be right because you're going to get some crazy amps because it's uh, VFD output. You know, <laughs> It'd be a nice big square wave. You know, not a sine wave going. Well, I don't. I don't know. I should take that back because I actually have never put a scope on there to know how that VFD actually works. It might be uh, pretty good sine wave recreated out of there, but I don't know. It says there's a 4,000 uh, it's 4 kilohertz 4,000 hertz inverter pulse width modulator frequency. So, I don't know. That's an intermediate frequency or one actually it's sending out to the motor, you know, crudely reconstructing the, you know, 60 hertz or whatever frequency it's driving it at, I should say, you know. Because it is a VFD, so it it could this thing might it's probably not going to read accurately being used on the motor side of the VFD. So basically, this is on the line power side now, feeding before it goes to the uh, the, the chiller, the VFD. So this is going to read actually like what the current is that you're demanding from the utility company, and that's what we want to see on the on the screen of the EMS. So I put this on here, move the converter over to here. It's reading accurately, just like when I put my clamp-on meter there. Here are the four EMS boards, controllers, Microzone 2 boards for the central plant. Chiller 1, Chiller 2. And then, uh, says there, they got this thing kind of mislabeled. And you got more schematic here, so it's duplicated the other one. It said some of this stuff, I've been tracing the wires. They were, um, miswired, so... I gotta seal this up. This well, this actually doesn't go to nothing, so it's fine. Like that one was on where the amp input, universal input one is. And, uh, same thing over here for the other chiller. So both are working correctly now. I, I trace the wires, had to tone it out, do some J box to change its colors before it goes into the chillers. So I got those all hooked up and wired up right, and both are now reporting to the EMS correctly and it logs that so you can kind of see the amps uh, in the sense of what we're being billed for that's what we want to see so I got it all working now and something I've been meaning to do I thought it'd be a lot more involving but I actually kind of figured it out um, all within this morning you know never really gone through it uh, this system out here like that so figured out quicker than I actually thought I was going to. <laughs> it's really rocking now. 87% of capacity. You know, it did, it's a hot day. It's over 106 out, I think, right now, outside. So, uh, when I switched from the other children to this one, you know, the loop temperature got up there a little bit before this one fired up. So, it 
it had to catch up a little bit. It's still ramping up just to maintain the output. Water's, yeah, 45, it's not going down anymore, so. Might be kind of leveled off right there. 85%. Let's see what the amps are, man, this gotta be a lot. This unit hardly ever gets that high, you know, unless you've turned it off and restarted it and you had to catch up. Oh yeah, 322 amps. Maybe drop down 312. So it's pretty loaded up there. It's stabilized. It seems to be holding right here. 51%. Uh, it is 2.30 in the afternoon here in the Phoenix area, so it's definitely like it, it hasn't cooled off outside. It's still hot. But this sucker, this, uh, 23 XRB is definitely more efficient than that centrifugal over there that was pulling around 300 amps, 290. This sucker's pulling 189 amps. So definitely more efficient when it's uh, not near max capacity. I think it's more efficient at all the time just being a triple screw VFD, but dang. Yeah, so 100 amps. Wow. Amps under what the other one was pulling with the same load, you know, 55 coming from the building and 45 return, and that's what it was doing earlier. Well, I shut it down, and it's probably got more load from the building right now. Yeah, that sucker's uh, definitely pulling less amps than that XL19. Okay, got enough of a log now. Uh, the centrifugal chiller, when I had it online, while I was working on the other one was running from about 11:30 until about two, and uh, started out at over 300 amps and stayed right around 290 the whole time. And that was with you know just to maintain temp the whole time. Now if we look at the log on the uh, triple screw the, with the VFD on it, okay, it kicked back in. It kicked in about 2:15. It was a little over 300 amps, you know, but the load was really high because, um, you know, the building got warm while, these were, you know, while it was off for like 10 minutes in between uh, switching it over. But then it, as it caught up, now it just kind of hovered around 200 down to 190 or so, you know, just to maintain, you know, and it's still, it's still about 106 out. So it ain't like the load has gone down, but that just shows you that thing. And they're reading accurately. I checked it with the meter. It's uh, definitely more efficient when it's running, especially when it's not near 100% capacity. Each one of those is 500 tons, which doesn't need that just to maintain. So, yeah, they're saving. It does, we do save a lot of money running that uh, 23 XRV over that 19 XL.